Here in this tech preview of graphics functionality in Media Central UX, I can access templates from my Avid Maestro graphics system directly from the launch menu. That's because it's so tightly integrated into the workflow. When I select the templates, they open in a new pane in Media Central UX. I can then view any of the graphics templates that have been created for me to fulfill. These could be for news, for sports, or any type of programming. I'm just going to rearrange my screen layout a little. It's really simple to do in Media Central UX. I just drag the panes where I want them to go. So I can see my templates. To start with, let's look at how I can add a lower third graphic. This could be a name caption, for example. I select the template I want to use and fill in the information I want to appear in the graphic. Then I can save it, but also I can generate a preview so I can see how the text and animation will look on screen and I can view this in the media pane in Media Central UX. Once I've seen it, then I can add it to my iNews story by dragging and dropping. So I select this little jigsaw piece icon and drag it into the story itself. There we go. But I'm not just limited to lower thirds. I could add any graphics from the templates in Maestro to use on air. You can see there are many for me to choose from. Your templates will, of course, be unique to your own system setup. But let's choose this one for a sports fixture. Again, I simply add in the detail I want to have included in the graphic. Once that's done, I can generate the preview, which again I can view directly in the media pane inside Media Central UX. Once I've checked that everything is OK, I can go ahead and then add it to my story. These graphics will then be played out from Maestro directly or controlled by iNews Command from the control room. Integration between a newsroom system and graphics has traditionally been achieved by using an ActiveX plugin, but this technical preview shows how Avid is changing the game when it comes to news graphics.